Howard, we welcome you to your first budget hearing in this capacity. Uh, if you could introduce yourself and your colleague, and let me know before you do that Councilman Bedney has been here for uh, a couple of hearings and is here again. Go, go ahead. All right. Um, my name is Howard Gentry, and I'm the criminal court clerk. And I have with me Ms. Nina Tucker, and she's the uh, finance division chief. And I'm glad she's here with me today. This is my first budget hearing with the criminal court uh, clerk's office, and I'm excited. I want to say I'm nervous, but I think it's more excitement. And I bring you greetings uh, from the 80 employees of the criminal court clerk office. And um, we've had some exciting things that have taken place over the year. And I'd like to uh, share some of it with you. Some of the things happened prior to me coming, but um, I've been here over six months now and, and I pretty much dug in. Uh, when I first uh, entered the office, um, we were experiencing an audit that was um, uh, requested by the members of the Metro Council. That audit was completed. Um, I think the audit showed that the office is being run in a uh, very satisfactory manner. Uh, there were some issues uh, within the audit, and I would say that right now 75 percent of those findings have been uh, corrected and uh, we're in the process on the technology side of um, completing um, the uh, or, or doing the com completion of that uh, process but overall the audit did help us to uh, I think create a, a, a structured organization that uh, you can be proud of. What came out of that is we created and rolled out an employee handbook in February, the 1st of February, so we are operating now under um, the uh, guidelines of the employee handbook, and I want to thank uh, Metro Human Resources for sending a team over and working with us to uh, effectuate that. Also, uh, they've helped us with the salary plan, and the salary plan has been completed. We have not uh, rolled it out yet, but uh, it's got a tweak or two, and uh, we will do that uh, probably within the month. Uh, we've also taken on um, an aggressive approach dealing with expungements and driver's license. Uh, there are just numerous records in our office that uh, are expungible, but uh, we have found that the public just doesn't really know it. So rather than to wait for them to come to us, uh, it started before me, but it's gotten a little gr aggressive, more aggressive after me. We have been moving uh, to the community to um, explain to the public about expungements, about driver's licenses. As a matter of fact, uh, when we do have the opportunity, we actually get the organizations to give us the names of the persons prior to us coming out, and we already have the records pulled and, and the information and a lot of the situations we can handle right there on the spot. Uh, we partnered with Metro Schools and went to Glencliff about Glencliff High School about a month ago, and and also the Public Defender's Office was there with us, and we had over 300 people there, and we were able to really accomplish a lot. Uh, we've worked with Goodwill Industries. We do uh, work with them monthly and uh, do that same presentation and process there. We've been to Martha O'Brien. We've been to one council district. We've been to numerous churches, and uh, we're now planning another uh, expungement and driver's license um, event at one of the uh, high schools in the North Nashville area. So this is something we're going to do and we're going to grow it because um, it puts more work on our office. Uh, but the fact is that the more records we expunge and the more driver's license situations we clear up, not only does it uh, provide revenue to the city, but it also causes our uh, clients and customers and citizens to be able to move on with their lives in a legal way. And so uh, we're really excited about that. Um, as it relates to our office, uh, we handle a lot of, of um, events in our office, and, and you have it listed here. Uh, we've handled more than a quarter of men docketed uh, items in general sessions and trial courts, and we processed over uh, 90,000 arrests and warrants during uh, this period. Uh, we processed over 137,000 subpoenas. Uh, over 12,000 expungements, and that's going to continue to grow. We want that to grow. And uh, something neat for our office, we uh, rolled out a new website uh, just over a month ago, and it's uh, very user-friendly. It's uh, 
free public assets, as access, and of course, public can review documents, um, criminal histories, affidavits, maps, and arrest data. Uh, and also, uh, coming pretty soon, and uh, will be sooner than later, we are creating a, we have created a mobile web site that our attorneys and others can use on their telephones. And um, matter of fact, it has been created. It's just not, uh, it's got a few tweaks that need to happen. But what we did, we found out what the top four or five needs are for our attorneys. And they'll be able to go right into that mobile website and, and deal with our office from uh, that point. Um, as it relates to our budget and, and, and our request, um, we are uh, right now at uh, $55.2 million that uh, we're actually uh, requesting. And with the uh, budget, 2% um, uh, budget reduction, uh, that um, takes us to about, uh, with other fees and what have you, takes us to about 4.9, uh, four million nine hundred thirty one thousand five hundred dollars and that's a ninety eight thousand six hundred reduction in our office and and um, so uh, I, I said something wrong Nina but the fact is that uh, it would create a uh, five million one hundred five thousand six hundred dollar uh, budget request for us now we had to um, actually cut two positions to create uh, this 2%. Uh, this office has run pretty lean over the last couple years, of last few years, and we looked everywhere, but uh, the fact is that we are going to have to, uh, if we do have the reduction, we're going to have to reduce by two positions. What we're actually asking, though, Mayor, is that uh, we're able to increase by two positions. And the reason is that um, there are two areas of our office that I think are, are suffering. One is at the beginning of our process, that's in the Warren and Bond office where we're down to a skeleton crew. And on our second and third shifts, we do not have uh, the numbers that we need to be able to replace employees or to fill in the gaps when employees are on off days and, and sick days. During the day on the first shift, we can use our staff uh, that's over on this side of the uh, campus to, to go fill in. But on the second and third shifts, unfortunately, uh, we have to get really ask for volunteers to come over and do that because we don't have the uh, staffing to be able to handle that office uh, at the level that we need. Also, if we look at revenue, uh, the fact is that on our collections, um, our court costs and fines and what have you, uh, I've determined that uh, in our office, we really don't have a collection um, a department. We have a process. We send, a, we send a postcard out. We send a letter out, a uh, postcard in 30 days. A letter goes out in 90 days, and then uh, we're going to follow that up with a another letter uh, in the uh, 300th day to try to uh, alert uh, people that they could possibly lose their driver's license in, within 65 days. But the fact is that um, there is an opportunity to create increased revenue if we had someone on staff in-house that can actually follow through with the collection process. Of course, we, we uh, have uh, uh, an agency that collects for us, and they do a great job. And I think our collections totally average, come to around $1.4 million in that ballpark. But uh, there's so much that can be done internally if we had the ability to do it. So what I'm asking is that we are able to bring uh, uh, a person into the uh, Bond and Warren office to to make that process uh, a, a lot cleaner, especially on second, third shift, and to be able to uh, assign somebody uh, collection uh, responsibilities within our office uh, as, as a needed staff. If you uh, look at our numbers, 
And if I'm going too far, Nana, you, you can jump in here. If you look at our numbers, I, you know, my problem is I don't know how to stop, but you will stop me, I'm sure, Mayor. Uh, if you will look at our numbers on the uh, expense side, over the last six years, we have uh, come in under budget. And over the last six years, we've had expense savings of of 600, over $675,000. On the revenue side, over the last six years, we have always um, uh, created uh, revenue for the city, and, and that has increased in most years. And over the last six years, that revenue is uh, close to $6.5 million. So um, uh, as the clerk before me said, we, we're, we are uh, running a um, department that is uh, creating revenue for the city, and the requests that we are making uh, will not um, deter from that revenue creation. As we look at our numbers for this year, we are uh, expecting to uh, come in at, at about 300000 over uh, revenue that we created last year, and so we're still on the uptick. And if we can create a, um, a structure within our office that can uh, get better collections uh, taken care of in-house. Uh, we don't have to pay the uh, percentage that we do uh, with the contracted uh, situation, and we can also provide, uh, I think, uh, considerable revenue to the city. Okay. And Good. by the way, before you ask, the, the employees are doing an outstanding job in the criminal court clerk's office. They have uh, they have really stepped up to the plate, and um, it's a good staff, a great staff, and I'm excited to work with them. Yes. Rich, anything? No, just comment that it's been a very good transition, and, and I think that uh, the clerk has stepped in and, um, you know, had a lot of good employee meetings, and the sense I get from the from everyone is that it's a, it, things are in good shape in the office, and yeah. I think he runs You deserve a lot of credit yeah. for yeah. Um, the handbook for the employees, and you've adopted all the Metro procurement policies and Absolutely. employee I signed policies. Absolutely, signed my first day. Yes. Right. I think that's is a model for um, all elected officials. I mean, I, having been in your shoes in a different office, but um, you know, that's what I. You know, you follow those policies, and it right. makes it easier. It does. It does. And and um, and the staff is. I mean, they they they're accepting everything. I mean, we're we're just running it the way it's supposed to be, and people people want structure, and they and they have structure. Right. Greg? Any of the other audit findings that we need to be working on, Howard, or need to be thinking about? No. I, well, yeah, there's one we need to be thinking about, but it's it's going to require, um, I think, and now you might want to jump in here, and I'm probably going beyond the audit, but we have, we, we did have some technology uh, uh, findings that in some ways, we didn't always right. agree with the finding because we have our, our way of doing it. But uh, there's some of the, uh, uh, I think, the financial and, and other issues around the technology findings that involve more than just our, our department. JIS yeah. is working with us to update our gotcha. system. Yeah. That's, that's where we stand now. We're in the process of doing that. And, and we're moving toward as paperless as we can be in our office, but at some point we're going to have to have a larger discussion about the total court system uh, because as I have been able to um, witness other states and other programs, uh, as I've been able to um, attend a conference, uh, uh, we're, we're kind of, we're, we need to probably step up our, our technology uh, as it relates to our total court system, not just the criminal court system, but our total court system, uh, so that we, at, you know, on the front end, it's going to be like transit or anything else. Right. It's going to be expensive, but on the back end, it becomes a more fluid, um, uh, a more effective and efficient uh, process. Uh, our files past 2004, we're not scanned. So we're having to run back and forth. We 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 Your finished files predating 2000. Predate. I'm sorry. Yes, predating 2004, are 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 not mm -hmm. basically in the system. So we those those um, 
where, where Ricky was talking about uh, uh, having them stored, we got them stored out there too, but we're making runs on a daily basis yeah, all day to way. get them. And so at some point, now that's just us, but over time, everybody's going to have to kind of jump Makes in. And, and I think that's a citywide discussion. I mean, we can do all we can do internally, but, right. but uh, some of that does affect how we'll be able to respond to the um, to the um, audit and, and, and everything else in the audit. Uh, matter of fact, the majority of the audit, we were able to really answer it prior to the audit ending because we had already started addressing those issues. Right, good. How long have you been in office now? I started September 1st, yes, so I've been been a little longer than I thought. So I've been- <laughs> I'm, Seven I'm, months? Yeah, yeah, about seven months. In the, well, you deserve a lot. I mean, again, you deserve a lot of credit for coming in and um, you know getting things moving in the right direction. And you know, I know each independent elected official is different, and each office is different. And you know, a lot of them have practices that have been. You know, I knew that in public defender's office practices that have gone on for a long time. And and you got to find your way through all that. But um, you certainly have taken the bull by the horns, and you to, to be credited for that. Thank and, you. Um, and we thank you for your candid uh, responses. And you know, this is uh, as all budgets have been the last few years. It's another tough one, and we'll do the best we can. Well, Mayor, you know uh, the times that I've come before, I, I've been either chair of a commission or what have you. And so um, uh, I want it to be understood that we are ready and able to to work with whatever the uh, the final decision is. So that's. No, and that, I, and that being said, but uh, it's, I think it's important that we, we, we um, let our needs be known. No, I, I agree, and I and I would also say um, that you said this, and it, it, it's worth saying, the criminal court clerk's office has um, a lot of people who work there who do a lot of really hard work, yes, and 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 having worked in that system for. A lot of my past life, uh, a lot of people I still know there who went to work every day, worked long hours, and, and did good work. And it's good that you're giving them the recognition that uh, they deserve. So I appreciate that too. Thank you. All right. Thank you. All right.